Okay, so I'm gonna show you how you measure stuff from a photo. So this all depends on how you take the photo and the projection angles on it. But you can see I got a photo here. I'm gonna open up Fusion 360, drag this window in, insert. I'm gonna insert a canvas from my computer. Select my plane, it doesn't really matter. Okay. So you can see, and, and I can click out of this and we'll just make it more visible. So I know that this shaft here is uh, 2 and 15 sixteenths, right? But you can imagine the side of a bearing where this is a little bit even lower. So that might give you a larger projection angle. And I do know that uh, these are three quarter inch heads on these half inch bolts. So what I can do is right click this, calibrate, and we'll start here to what we know for sure. Okay, so this is 2.937. Okay, so what I wanna try to do is I wanna just try to get a, uh, a number between the, the two bolt, uh, the, the, bolt uh, the bolt spacings. So from here, I'm just gonna draw a line and, okay, so what we could assume if I hit inspect Okay, so that's like around eight inches. This isn't gonna get you exact. So that eight inches, I just referenced the uh, part number of a Dodge bearing and you can see that's, uh, that's accurate, so I'll use that. Just keep in mind the angle that you project things at. So if uh, you're looking at something uh, closer to you uh, compared to something further away, it'll actually uh, um, change the size. So try to take something uh, that's as square as possible and uh, try to use a calibrated dimension usually on the same plane as you're measuring and that kind of helps but this is just to give you an idea a cross a rough cross reference and um you know it saves you a trip climb in there looking at things and makes a picture a little bit more useful when you can reference some dimensions off of it